from Dalma Khan at half time. But this one, of course, is a big day on Easter Friday. Will it be a good Friday for Orient or for the playoff placed Harrogate Town? Let's find out in the company of Adam Virgo alongside Adam Summerton. Thank you, Matt. Afternoon, everyone. The Easter weekend upon us, always such a pivotal stage of the National League season, and this year is no different. This is certainly a pivotal four days in the National League. Much can be won and lost over the Easter weekend. Leighton Orient begin it in a strong position, but Harrogate will be a significant test, Adam, of their title credentials. But he's certainly mixed things up a bit for this game. Now. Well, he certainly has, Adam, and he's not a manager that likes to make too many changes week in, week out. Here's Brophy, who's got Macaulay Bond waiting in the middle. Karoma is there as well. Out it comes to Clay. Roma brings it down. A sliding challenge is by McCauley Bond, and it falls for Bond again! And a good start! And Karoma it was, he tried to turn it home but couldn't, and what a block that was! Well, when they tried to clear it, McCauley Bond, I don't think he was quite ready for the shot to be on his left foot. There's no connection on it, and they're sometimes the ones that can kind of trickle and make it difficult for a goalkeeper. It was a brilliant, brilliant block in the end from Kitchen to keep off the line. Fast start from Leighton Orient. Cross one game by the captain. Back it up with the flick on and it's in. Less than two minutes go. And it's Coulson who gives the O's the lead. Lift off at Brisbane Road. Wonderful cross. And Coulson did the rest. Just sometimes you get a feeling in atmospheres and the way that teams certainly start, they are really, really pumped up for this game. Short corner, and they've got runners on them. It's a great header from Coulson. It really is. They let them have the run on it. And he just gets to flick the front of the kitchen. James Belshaw in the goal, doesn't stand a chance of keeping that out. Brilliant start for Leighton Orient. And Pateta again, was in the England squad. The England C squad for that game against Wales last month. Clay, McEnough. And Widowson's forward, and Bond's waiting, and so is Maguire. Drew and Bond! Flags up. Won't count. Quickly ruled offside. It was great experience play from Joby McEnough on the edge of the box. Maybe thought about the shot coming in, but no. The way to pass into Widdowson was really, really good. You can clearly see. You might need VAR for that one, Adam. He thought for a moment that he scored his 50th goal for Leighton Orient there. Missing interest. McEnough to the left there. Maguire drew walking away now. It is the captain. Unlucky there from Jody Mjakanov. Just couldn't quite get the dip on the shot to test James Belshaw in the goal. His 700th career appearance back in December, Joby Mjakanov. Automatically think that they're dripping in money, and well, maybe that isn't the case, but Orient here with a chance. Karoma. He's got Bon in the middle. Decided to go for goal himself. Well, slightly selfish there from Josh Karoma. McCauley Bond in the middle, Jordan Maguire drew as well. Comes through to him nicely. Callum Howe just sticks out a leg. But now you're in that situation here. Yeah, the angle's certainly working against you for a shot towards goal. That scored twice in his last three games, Josh Karoma. Approaching the hour mark. Still that goal inside two minutes from Coulson separates these sides. Epiteta slid it. Emmett. Fallafield with the ball forward. And the flag has stayed down here. It's a fantastic chance. And can Fulis take it? No. Well, what is he doing, Jordan Fulis? 
he is onside, Ekpeteta has to go with him, you can't afford to play offside there. Does the hardest thing to take it around, but he take the shot there. Delays it, and then Brophy just smashes it away. Massive warning sign for Leighton Orient. Just shoot there, too many touches. Makes a horrible mess of it. And throws Leighton Orient a lifeline. And he hasn't scored since January 2018. Tulis, what a chance that was to level things up at Brisbane Road. The space here for Burrell. It was a good run by Tulis, who's round the goalkeeper, the angle's tight. Oh, that was vital. Might well have been creeping in that Coulson. Very difficult to tell from our vantage point, but he couldn't take any chances. Well, it's another run that they've done again, that little ball on the outside. And now the first time he takes a shot. The other time he took too many touches. He's done everything right there. But you have to say, what will that block mean? Harold being watched closely in the box. Keeper stays on his line, and the header's in! And that's the point! Harold with the goal! His fourth in the league this season, and they've all come in the 90th minute or later. But there'll be no nerves now in the closing stages, and Leighton Orient today have taken one almighty step towards the National League title. Well, how big will this goal be now? A massive, massive sigh of relief has gone around this ground, and for Justin Edinburgh's side, he's made an impact since coming on over the last few weeks, and it's just a desire to go and attack him.